Hello there, this is Harry Du. In this video, I want to show you how to get started with MapGrudge Python SDK on Windows environment. First, um, I'm going to install Conda on the Windows. All right, we have it installed. Let's close it. After install the Conda, I'm going to use it. So open the Conda Navi uh, PowerShell prompt from the start menu. So let's list uh, all the environment available. So you can use Conda ENV list. It will list all the environment you have. So it looks like I only have one base environment. So next I'm going to create a new environment. Uh, create a environment named the mysterious demo and with Python 3.10. Uh, the, the reason to use 3.10 is the minimum version required by mysterious Pi 3.10. So let's run this. This will take some time. I will pause the video. Okay, answer yes. Now the environment is ready. So next I'm going to activate this by calling conda activate mysterio dash demo. So my current environment is this. So next I'm going to install uh, MacStrategy for Python. Even though it says not recommended, but uh, it works on the conda. So I'm going to use this conda. You can try use Python virtual environment. Is that so? Let's try to do this. So I got some warning when I install Mysterio Pi, but at the end it works. So let's uh, next. I'm going to enable Python Notebook. So I'm going to uh, use the instruction from the documentation. Here, I'm going to call this to install um, MacRedge for Python Notebook extension. Here, I'm going to copy. OK, so next, I'm going to enable it. All right, so we are all set with installing. So next, I'm going to try use the Python Notebook here. You can type on Py. A Jupyter Pi, a Jupyter Notebook, or you can use a, a Conda Anaconda Navigator. So you can also use Anaconda Navigator to do it. So you can open this. First, okay, so let's try to use um, the command line. You type Jupyter Notebook, enter. So it will open the new window, right, with Jupyter, and you can um, create a new notebook. So you can create a new notebook. I'm going to create a new notebook. And you see this button. So that means the connector is installed. So I can use this connector. I can copy uh, the environment I have. Name, login. After you log in, you pick a project. And, and you can import. Yeah, you can know about this. Uh, select a data set. And I'm going to select just the first one. OK. Uh, import. So after import, you see a preview of the uh, data, grid, data frame. If you want to see the code, you can click this button to show code. So this is the code running to get this. All right, next I'm going to uh, run, run this code in PyCharm. Let's install PyCharm. I'm going to install uh, community. All right, so let's run it.
I'm going to create a new project, new Python project. Uh, since I'm using Conda, I'm going to pick the environment I created. Oh no, uh, yeah, previously configured environment. I'm going to pick uh, environment. See if I can find one. All right, so I pick this environment. a new project it will automatically create a new main.py file uh, i can overwrite this file so let's get my code from notebook so this is the code i'm going to use I'm going to copy everything from here Here. Okay, okay. Username. I know my username probably. I can hard code my username. Okay, all right. So let's run this. I'm going to save this and I'm going to save this and run this file. Run the file here. Okay, so after enter credentials and running this code and print out some of the data information in the console. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. In my last video, I have a demo to show you how to set up uh, Python, um, a Mysterio Pi for Conda environment. Um, in this video, I want to show you how to set up on the uh, Python's uh, V virtual environment. Uh, virtual environment comes with the Python default installation. So let's uh, get started. So I'm going to open the Py Windows PowerShell. And here I have a, a Python uh, version 3.10.9. So I'm going to create a, a virtual environment. Name is uh, Mysteria that underscore uh, demo. So this is the environment I'm going to create. So the environment I'm going to put is under this folder. So let's run this. Next, I'm going to go into this folder, uh, this environment slash scripts folder. I'm going to call uh, active. Okay, once you activate, don't use the .bit. So once you activate, the environment is Mysteria dash demo right so that's the environment i want to use so here now i'm going to install mysterio pi you can just call pipe install mysterio dash pi or you can get a uh, copy the instruction from the documentation okay so now let's run it all right, it is installed. I also want to use um, MacTragy for Jupyter Notebook extension. So if you don't want to use this, you don't have to install this step. So I'm going to install this. So here, I'm going to copy here and install extension. Uh, next, I'm going to enable this after installing. I'm going to enable this. Okay, so now it's installed. Uh, next, I'm going to launch the Jupyter Notebook from console. So just type Jupyter uh, Notebook. Okay, Jupyter Notebook. It will open the uh, web page. And so now you can, you can create a new Python file, right? You can create a new Python Notebook. And you see this button. So that means uh, MacTragy um, for Jupyter Notebook extension is installed. I can do the same thing as I showed you before. I can use this environment, login, and pick a project, um, pick a cube, and get some data. 
and uh, render and render uh, some data. All right. 